now after adding the services into program.cs let's add the file upload and indexing code into index.cshtml so on index.cshtml page i've added code for ui so here i have added a form control and an upload file control and an upload button and below this i have added a pop up div to show any success or failure message so in index.cshtml.cs let's add the on post method to upload the file the on post method will take i form file as an argument and it will return the i action result so that we can again redirect back to the page now here we will need i file upload service and i ag cognitive search service so let's inject both of them into the constructor and create fields for both of them now in the on post method let's call file upload service dot upload method to upload the file first check if the file object is null so from here we will return to the page let's add one property to show the status message set an error message in this status property so here we have called the upload file method so this will upload the file into the storage account and then return the uploaded file name let's check if the file has been uploaded successfully so check for string dot is null or empty here now if the file has been uploaded successfully we will run the indexer by calling the az cognitive search service method call the az cognitive search service dot run and check indexer method here so this will trigger the indexer and then index our newly uploaded file update the status message here here we will check if the indexer ran successfully and if it is a success we will show the message else we will show the error message i'll add a try catch block to handle any exception here i will show a generic error message and then log the exception and then return a redirect to page now i'll put the debugger on on post method and on upload file and run and check indexer methods before running the application let's use the status message property on the cs html page in the model pop up so i'll use model dot status message and i'll also add javascript to show and hide the model here i have added a javascript logic to show and hide the model pop up if the status message property is not empty so if we get any value in the status message property this will show our model pop up and to show the list of uploaded files i'll quickly add one more property here so here i have added a list of string to get the uploaded file names from the storage account initialize this property and in the on get method we can populate this property and call the file upload service dot get uploaded file names method and on css html page we can iterate through it and then show the uploaded file names here so let's add that code now let's run the application so as you can see we already had a document into our storage account so it is displaying the file name here if i go back to the storage account here under the input files container we already have this word document now i will upload another one this is a sample document that is provided by a microsoft uh, github repository i'll add the link for this also in the video description upload this here we can see that we got the file object hit f5 and here the file has been uploaded into our storage account and it will run the indexer now let's check the indexer status so we did not get any error message and let's go back to our storage account and refresh so here our file has been uploaded and if we go to our search service and check the indexer here we see a success message for the last execution result 
and if you go into the indexes and hit refresh the document count should be updated to 2 this might take some time approximately 5 to 10 minutes to refresh the count here under indexes as we can see the document count has been updated to 2 now in the index so now in the application we will implement the azure open ai service code so for that i'll create an interface first call it as iaz open ai service and to use azure open ai functions in our code we need to add a new git package search for azure.ai.openai and install it now the package has been installed so in the interface i'll add one method called uh, generate text async this will take the user input as a parameter and in response it will return a response of chat completions so the chat completions object is provided by the azure open ai service which provides us the text and that is returned in response for the user input so basically this chat completion will contain the output of the gpt model which we have deployed in azure open ai service now let's implement this i'll add a class called open ai service implement the interface let's add a constructor first in this class i'll inject the logger and the i configuration to get the values from the app settings create the respective fields i will declare some global variables to store the values that we will read from the app settings for azure open ai and the search service endpoint so let's add those variables first so here i have added six variables the az open ai base will contain the endpoint of the azure open ai service on the open ai key will contain the azure open ai service api key similarly i have added the fields to store the values for search service endpoint index name and search api key and then the azure open ai deployment id which will contain our gpt model name which we have already deployed in azure in the open ai service so in the constructor now load the values for these fields so here i am reading the values of each of the properties from the app settings.json file let's create another object for the open ai client i'll call it as underscore client now in the constructor initialize the client here so here we have initialized the open ai client which will communicate with the azure open ai service now this will take the open ai service endpoint url and the open ai key for authentication now before implementing this method i'll add two helper methods here which will create the chat completion options and the chat messages that we will need to pass to the open ai service so let's add those I'll create another object for chat completion options here. Call it underscore options. Now in create chat completion options, I'll populate its value. Here we have to provide Azure extensions options. This will add our Azure Cognitive Search service into the uh, Azure Open AI service. So this will help the Azure Open AI service to connect to the search service and get the data from our documents. So we initialize this. Here we have to provide Azure Cognitive Search chat extension configuration, which will take the search service endpoint, the index name, and search key. Here we are getting a compilation error because I have provided a wrong type for the underscore options object instead of chat completions it will be chat completions options 
now let's add another method called initialize messages this will take the list of chat messages and then add the chat message object into the options object so the options object has a messages property which will contain our chat message uh, that will be provided by the user so till now we have created chat completions options which connects our azure cognitive search service with the azure open ai service through azure extension options and we have added the chat message to the options object now let's implement the generate text async method here first we will prepare a list of messages which will take the user input and create a chat message object with the chat role of user so the chat role user will tell chat gpt that the input is provided by the user now we can use our initialize messages method and provide the list of messages here so that the user input will be added to the options object then we will call the openai client dot get chat completions method here we have to pass the deployment id and the options object so the get chat completions async method takes the deployment name as parameter and the options object and it will return the uh, response from the gpt model so we will return the result from here now add this service into the program.cs so that we can inject it after adding the az open ai service into program.cs let's add a new razor page to chat with the document so go to pages i'll add a razor page here call it search now for the user interface we will provide a text box for the chat input and a div displaying the chat messages for the user input and the gpt model output so i'll add the ui for it so here i have added a div and the div will contain a form which will post the user input and a button and i have also added the css in site.css file uh, required for the uh, razor page you can get all the code from the github repository that i have linked below and in the layout.css html page i added the search page has search documents earlier so i'll modify it to slash search now run the application click on search your documents heading so this is how the page will look like so here the user will provide the input and from this page we will call the azure open ai service so let's implement the code now in the search page i'll add a constructor first here i will inject the iaz open ai service and i logger and uh, let's add the on post method here this method will take the user input as a parameter here i will use a dictionary object to store the user input and the chat response that we get from the azure open ai let's initialize this after declaring the dictionary object let's add the user input first into the dictionary object and then call the az open ai service dot generate text async method pass the user input now this method will return the chat completions object and from which we will extract the content text so for that i will use response dot result dot value dot choices so the choices list provides the chat completions from the gpt model and it has message dot content property which will provide the text response let's use a string builder to append the response i'll just add new lines before and after the response and finally add the response into the dictionary 
Now put the debugger here and run the application. Now these are the document that we uploaded into the storage account earlier. So let's use Azure OpenAI to get the cost comparison data from this document. So I'll say get cost comparison for Contoso Electronics. Click on the button. So here we are getting error because I forgot to call the create chat completion options method in the constructor. So let's do that and rerun the application. Again, provide the same input. Now, as we can see in the result object, we are getting a success response. And if we expand the value, so here we can see the message dot content property where we got the response from Azure OpenAI. Hit F5. So here the Azure OpenAI has provided us the details of the different plans that we have in that document and the respective data. So if we compare here, we can see that it has correctly provided us the data for this cost comparison. Now we uploaded another document, a resume template into the storage account earlier. So let's try to fetch the data for this document also. So I'll ask about the name of the candidate. So here it has provided us the response. Similarly, if I ask about the skills, so here it has provided me the skills of the candidate. I hope this helps you to understand and work with Azure OpenAI and how to use it from scratch in a .NET Core web application. We also learned how to use cognitive search and perform indexing of the uploaded documents and connect cognitive search with Azure OpenAI. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It also helps me to make more videos and grow this channel. Thank you.